Hi there and welcome back to the channel. In this week's Quick Win Wednesday, we're going to talk about the where relation feature in Laravel. So without further ado, just live, let's dive into it. All right, so I've created a custom command called check negative wallets with a signature of check wallets. Um, this custom command actually gives me the users with the negative wallet at this moment. Uh, so I can email them saying, hi, uh, you need to update your wallet. It's currently negative. So as we used to do this before, we have the user where has to check the relation wallet function, pass on the query, and then perform a where, where statement uh, of current coin amount lower than zero. And this returns the uh, users that are uh, with a negative wallet at this moment. So let's just quickly PHP artisan CWB CWB check wallets like this. And this actually gives us, let me just open this up a bit. This actually gives us, um, yeah, an object with inside an attribute with only one user in it. So that's only one user with a negative wallet. We're going to check this real quick with PHP artisan tinker and we're going to run user um, with uh, with sorry uh, with wallet and we're going to pass on the get function because we're going to get them all okay so we have a database with two users myself with a current coin amount in my wallet of six and a test user with a current coin amount of minus four. So the previous response was correct. The test user is the one with the negative wallet. All right, so let me um, clear this out. Clear, there we go. Uh, Control C, there we go. Okay, pull this down a bit so you can see what we're going to do. So we're going to replace this. Actually, this is three lines of code. It's, it's kind of dirty. Um, users equal to the user and this is where the where relation comes in and we're going to pass on the relation so it's the wallet and the column that we want to check so current current uh, coin amount and that relation we want to be lower than zero and we're also going to throw the get com uh, function behind it to perform a query over all the users. So there we go, let's save it and actually run it again and just pull it up and it gives us the exact same result. I think this is, yeah, neater to do in only one line of code. It looks more readable as well and I, I tend to use it quite often. So that was it for this week and see you next week. Bye bye.